I am so excited to share these secret tips with you so I am going to just jump right in. The first tip that I have to share is this pack of stickers. They're tiny, they come in various different colors that you get in the package. And I have over 3,000 stickers here so it will take me forever to get through these if I ever do. What these are good for or what I like to use them for is for my sewing pattern. Sometimes when you're following a pattern different views have different steps. So you can write on these stickers and what's really nice is you can put stickers for each step. So if you want to put step one you can put a number one a number two, number three, next to each step using one of these stickers and that way you'll know where to sew next and you won't have to be jumping all around trying to figure out which step you need to work on next. The other thing that I like to do with these is if I'm going to stop sewing for the day I can just put a little sticker next to the number where I stopped and that way when I come back to my sewing room I know where to pick up and start sewing again. There's one more thing about these stickers. They are actually removable. So after you've already stuck them down where you wanted them, once you're done with your pattern, you can just peel the stickers off. They don't ruin the paper and your pattern is just like new again. The next tip is the magnifier app, which comes on the iPhone. I'm not sure if it's on the Android or if there's something similar, but I like to use this app to help me figure out which needle that I'm using. So I found that this works best if you take your needle and place it face down with the two stripes of colors facing up. The magnifier app looks like this when you open it up. And then what you do is you take the slider and making sure that the needle is in the picture you just move the slider up until the image comes into view my hand is a little rickety but right there you can see it says 80 slash 12 so that will show you what the size of the needle is and this works really really well. Now the next tip is a magnetic stand that I have in my sewing room. It's kind of like a clipboard and I like to use this to hold up my sewing pattern just to keep it handy so that I can see everything while I'm sewing. If you've ever wanted to add fractions together I found an app that will let you do that. The app is called Fraction Calculator Plus Number One, and I will demonstrate how to use it. This is how the app looks once it's opened. So for example, let's say you had a yard and three eighths worth of fabric. So you had a yard, three eighths, and then let's say you had a quarter of a yard of fabric and you wanted to see how much those two would be added together. So you have a yard and three eighths plus a quarter of a yard of fabric, so one, over 4 then you hit the equal sign and it will tell you that that is going to come out to a yard and 5 eighths so this side over here is your whole number and then this is going to be the number that goes on top so your numerator and this is the number on the bottom so your denominator for my next tip, I use my tablet, which is an iPad, and I also use a stylus, which in my case is an Apple Pencil, and I use it with the GoodNotes app, and I'll demonstrate how I use it here. GoodNotes is a free note-taking app, and this is what it looks like when you first open it up. I did go in and create a notebook just for demonstration purposes, and it's really easy to do. So once you tap on the notebook that you created, it will come up as a blank page. I just went to the internet and copied and pasted this image in here just for demonstration purposes. What I like to do with this app is to brainstorm ideas. So if I was making a top and I wanted to know what one sleeve would look like red, I can come in here and just color the one sleeve just to kind of get an idea. If I wanted the other sleeve to be, I don't know, green, then I can just come down here and color in green and see what that would look like. If I wanted to change up the neckline, I can come here, draw a new neckline just to get an idea of what that would look like. 
and I just really really love this app if you wanted to cut the bottom of the top off and see what that looks like you can come in here change the color to white and just kind of erase the bottom and just kind of cut the top off that way just to kind of see what it would look like if it was shorter I just love it there's so many different things you can do you can write in here you can put more calls you can take notes it's just so wonderful and I use this all of the time something else I like to use in my sewing room is something called a rocket book and it is a smart notebook and I love it this is the rocket book notebook I picked up the one that has dotted paper and there are several pages in this notebook it is really thin and I love that about it the notebook comes with a friction pen and also a microfiber cloth what I like to do is when I'm in my sewing room I like to keep notes of what I'm doing as I'm sewing so I may make a note that I'm making a size small that I'm using denim fabric using denim the name of the pattern McCall's 8101 where I purchased the fabric on and on and on so I like to make notes as I'm sewing and then what is so wonderful is after you make all of your notes you can just wet your cloth and you can just wipe the notes away and you can reuse these pages over and over and just continue to write more and more and erase more and more each and every time the other nice thing about this notebook is that it does come with an app I personally don't use the app but you can use the app the way that the app works is if you have written down notes that you want to keep you can send them to different destinations you can send them to Google you can email them to yourself you can use Dropbox you have symbols here in the front of the notebook and they coordinate with symbols here at the bottom of the notebook once you have your notes written you can scan the QR code into the Rocket Book app and then the designated symbols down at the bottom will send your notes wherever you have chosen for them to go. So that's really wonderful. But like I said, I just usually just write my notes, scribble them down and erase them and use the notebook that way. The other great thing is you can use colored friction pens too. I have a lot of these in different colors and they work on the notebook also. Did you see anything that I shared that you may want to use? I sure hope so because I could not wait to share these goodies with you. And anything that I can link below, I will definitely do so in the description box.